Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm the Strategic Projects Officer for Yukon University Innovation and Entrepreneurship. In this video, you'll see a group of Yukoners talking about what we're doing individually and collectively to support social enterprise in the Yukon. Hi, my name is John Glamoris. I'm speaking to you here from Whitehorse on the traditional territory of the Kwanlin and First Nation and Tonkwachan Council. Hi, my name is Sandra McDougall. Hi, my name is Wendy Morrison. My name is Edith Belanger. I'm R.P. Singh. My name is Jared Slip. Hi, my name is Lana Selby. We are just some of the members of the Social Enterprise Working Group, an ad hoc, self-selecting group of Yukoners who came together out of a shared interest in learning about how we could support social enterprise in our territory. We have folks coming from the perspective of businesses with a social purpose, NGOs who also want to be financially sustainable, folks in the entrepreneurial support ecosystem, academics, and more. In the next set of videos, I'll let them explain in their own words why they believe social enterprise is important, broadly and in the Yukon, and why they joined the Social Enterprise Working Group. You Construct Society is a huge supporter and champion of social entrepreneurs and social innovation, social enterprise. These are such important conversations to be having, and we are proud to be a part of the Social Enterprise Working Group here in the Yukon trying to raise the awareness and, and have more conversation around the power of social enterprise to create positive benefit for our societies socially, culturally, environmentally. For me, one of the real game-changing elements of social enterprise is its ability to scale. We know that from the traditional capital marketplace. Businesses can scale in the marketplace. Traditional nonprofits have struggled scaling with philanthropy and grants. This is a great meshing of the two, using the power of the scalable marketplace to, to really drive your impact. To me, that's going to be a huge game changer. It's going to really create long lasting, widespread impact. So that's why I think social enterprise is going to change our world. I saw the importance for l'Association franco yukonaise to be part of this group to help um, develop the, the social enterprise in our territory and be part of the conversation. And it interested me because it was about joining a group of people that have the knowledge about social enterprise. Um, myself, my knowledge about this is very limited. So I thought it was important um, for me to be there so I could learn more about it and then in turn um, share it with my team that could then share it with our clientele, which are um, francophone entrepreneurs. And if they want to develop a business, this type of business, um, we could support them in doing so. So I'm also part of a working group that's doing stuff to raise the profile of social enterprise, social entrepreneurs, and social innovation in the Yukon. So if you hear more about those terms, it means we're doing our job. The Social Enterprise Working Group has a few objectives that we're working on together. When we started meeting, we realized one of the first things we needed was a solid definition that we could all agree on. There are many definitions floating around out there and everyone draws the boundaries on social enterprise differently and has different understandings of what that means. So we wanted a definition that Yukoners could get behind. We started discussing within the group based on the knowledge of Jarrett Slip, who has an MBA in social enterprise. From that, we decided we wanted to engage even more Yukoners in a collective discussion about a definition that we could all agree on and get behind. That's when we started talking about planning an event. Wendy Morrison, the founder of WISED Projects, initiated the Social Sector Summit. One of the panels that we convened as part of that event was on social enterprise. This event was meant to be a starting point for a longer discussion where we would engage more and more Yukoners in what social enterprise is, a definition we could all agree on, why it's important to them as Yukoners, and what we're going to do about it going forward. The other benefit of coming together as a social enterprise working group is that it's an opportunity to share knowledge with each other, to find opportunities to collaborate, and to share with each other what initiatives we have underway in each of our own organizations. So now, in their own words, I'll let some of the members of the working group talk about what their organizations are doing independently to work on advancing social enterprise in our territory. Run for Life is a social enterprise. And as such, we, have, we deliver a strong social mandate in a business model. 
Rent for Life has a revenue stream, and that's the sales of bikes in classrooms all across Canada. And we take the revenue and deliver our community mandate, which is move, learn, create. And right now, I think I'll go for a run. At WISE Projects, we work with nonprofit organizations, social enterprises, and social purpose businesses to grow their organizational effectiveness. Our team is working on building an open resource toolkit and developing a series of service packages uh, that include coaching, training, and implementation services. This week, we hosted the Yukon's first ever social sector summit which brought together representatives from nonprofit organizations, First Nations, governments, and business to explore opportunities for the social sector. The summit also included a social enterprise panel discussion. It was a great chance for it to bring together community leaders uh, from business and nonprofit organizations to explore their journey and approach in developing their local social enterprise. The plan for this session is to be the starting point of a series of events that will grow our community's uh, understanding and support of local social enterprise and their social impact across the territory. In the 2016 book entitled Care, Cooperation and Activism in Canada's Northern Social Economy, the section on VBY has this to say. There's no question that the volunteer sector is a significant contributor of the economy. Volunteers and volunteering have been described as the heart of social capital. Aside from the book, in terms of examples of ongoing and future plans, VBY is working with a steering committee to create a new NGO hub, a place where NGOs will share staff, office space, utility bills, and other overhead, and so as to include organizations that can't be a physical part of the hub, it will also be a virtual platform for communication to share information. Most recently, as the reality of social enterprise finds its way in the Yukon, VBY continues seeking opportunities to foster and support related initiatives such as the recently created Yukon Advisory Nonprofit Council, as well as the recently held Social Sector Summit on October 27, 2020. Find out more about VBY by tuning into our radio segment, Time to Give, Thursday afternoons on CBC North, after the 1240 News, and by visiting our website, volunteeryukon.ca. Thanks. We're also really proud to be part of McConnell Foundation's um, Finance Solutions Accelerator with the goal of building an impact investment fund so that we can invest in these social enterprises and these social entrepreneurs here in the North. Uh, we're also really proud to be part of the Social Innovation Passport, and this is a network of impact-focused hubs across Canada, you know, with the goal of really connecting social entrepreneurs and supporting them and the work that they're doing. For the last several years, Yukon University Innovation and Entrepreneurship, formerly Yukon College Cold Climate Innovation, has been hosting the Yukon Innovation Prize with support from the Government of Yukon Economic Development Department. Last year, our topic was the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Two years prior to that, the theme for the Yukon Innovation Prize was in fact social enterprise. In addition to these past initiatives, we have a current initiative with support from the Government of Canada, Employment and Social Development Canada, or ESDC. There are three pillars to what we're doing with this funding. The first of which is a storytelling campaign to highlight the amazing work that Yukoners are already doing in a whole host of different businesses that are advancing the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. The second pillar in this funding is a series of events, including speaking at the ArcticNet conference. One of those events is a panel discussion as part of Canada Innovation Week or Yukon Innovation Week, which happens November 16th to 20th. We will introduce the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals for those who aren't familiar with them, talk a little bit about what social enterprise is and how this can merge both a social purpose and financial sustainability, and have a few social enterprises talk about why this model is important and the pros and cons of what it has allowed them to do in their business. The third pillar of this funding program with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals is a series of workshops we'll be running in January, February and March 2021. 
there are a whole host of ways that businesses can help advance the 2030 Agenda and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, and we're developing workshops that will be accessible online for anyone throughout the Yukon to learn how they too can adopt these in their business, whether they're established or new. We are unearthing a new place brand rooted in our unique and compelling Yukon story. The place brand will be a powerful shared public asset designed to improve our reputation, attract tourists and talent, support trade, spur investment and build capacity here. Businesses and institutions will get access to a range of powerful tools to help them identify what is uniquely Yukon about what they do. So how are we going to experiment with social enterprise? Participating in the free market through the sale of products and services will allow us to scale our desired social impact and provide us own source revenue for innovative initiatives. Therefore, in addition to our core programs based on public funds, we are sketching ideas ranging from signature story and residence program, developing a Yukon standard with global application, or Yukon testing, products that use the Yukon in their brand in a humorous way on YouTube. Profits will be invested in our programs to advance our social objectives. Our mission is to support economic recovery and build community cohesion. Using social enterprise approaches for some of our programs will help us succeed. Our Yukon story, because we all want Yukoners to succeed. Looking forward, what's on the horizon for social enterprise in Yukon? On the calendar for 2021, we're expecting a territorial election. So we're exploring as a working group, how we can get social enterprise on the agenda and engage with all political parties in a discussion of how their platform can support social enterprise to grow in our territory. We welcome anyone else to join us in conversations around social enterprise. We'd love to learn and we'd love to share. Thanks so much for paying attention, watching this video, and I look forward to the discussion.